Hey guys, I have this car with the rough engine and when I check it with the scan tool, I have this fault code. Cylinder number four, misfire. Let's see what we can do for it. Uh, I already know that on this car, spark plugs are brand new. So I'm gonna focus on the injectors. Injector number four right now, because I have the misfire on cylinder number four, which is here. If I count from the front side, I will have the injector number four here, and this is the ignition coil. So I'm not gonna touch the ignition coil right now because I know that there's nothing wrong with it because uh, spark plugs are brand new one and ignition coils are inspected recently. So I'm gonna just focus on the injector for this misfire. Maybe we can find something. So this is the injector uh, connector. So I'm gonna turn the ignition on right now uh to see if i have the power supply on the injector when the ignition switch is on all right ignition switch is on i'm gonna check the voltage on the injector number four to see if there is any voltage all right multimeter on the voltage i'm gonna grab this one and check the voltage i, I just want to make sure that the power supply is provided on the injector number four so red here and i'm gonna touch the ground with black one and as you see i'm getting the battery voltage so there is nothing wrong with the power supply on the injector so next step would be checking the signal for the signal i can check the continuity or the open circuit between the uh, injector control line and the ecm but there is some other way as well to make your life easier and it's just using the Noid light. So I have a noid light. As you see, I have different lights for different popular injectors. So I need to just check which one is the more compatible with uh, my injector, which must be this one. This is the one. So this one is actually a light. When I put this one in the injector connector and start the engine uh, i should have this one flashing because i do have the power supply right now and any time that ecm needs to activate this injector is going to provide the ground all right so anytime that the injector is working uh, this one should be flashing so i put this one in the connector just right just like this grab this one put it into the connector just like that all right, this one is safe. And then I'm gonna start the car to see if that one is flashing. All right, as you see guys, we have the power supply on the injector, but when the engine is running, this one doesn't flash. So obviously we don't have the control line. ECM doesn't provide the ground to the injector to work. So we need to focus on this. All right, guys, for checking the control line and the ECM, ECM is located here and, it's, it's, and, and uh, as you see, someone did quite a big job here uh, for uh, apparently doing something on the wiring. So this, this wire is actually the control line for uh, injector number four. As, as you see, some repair has been done here that I'm not sure if it was okay because obviously my injector doesn't work and I don't have the control line provided. So what I will do, I use the, I'm gonna use the back prop from here. I'm gonna just put it back in, into that purple wire. So I put the back prop in here uh, for injector number four control line on the ECM side, an ECM connector. And I'm gonna use the multimeter for checking the continuity to make sure if I have the continuity over there. Continuity function. Okay, so I check the continuity between these two. One here on the ECM side and the other one on the injector control line number four and as you see i'm not getting any continuity so apparently something is wrong in this wiring and most likely it could be from here 
that some electrical repair has been done. All right, guys. Uh, I checked that wire all the way. I digged into the wiring, found it, fixed it already. Uh, I didn't want to put it in, the, in this video because it's gonna just make the video too long. Uh, I checked the continuity already. It gives me the continuity back because uh, it's already fixed, but I'm gonna show you guys how it works when continuity is provided. So I'm gonna check the continuity again. This is the connector. That wire is my control line on the ECM. I'm gonna put the back prop here and one wire there, the other one on the east, on the, the other one on the injector side. As you see, I hear the continuity sound. All right, perfect. As then I will put the noise light on injector again. Okay, because I'm trying to test it. Okay, let's start the engine and see if the noise light is working now. Oh, good. You see, guys? So everything is back to normal. Uh, apparently, this was a fault on the car. So I just need to put the injector back, erase the fault code, and all good. Thanks everyone for watching.